Recently, I've seen a lot of comments on the forums about these little text pop-out buttons that you see here at the bottom of my text objects or my text containers. Uh, in this case here, this sample project I've created, I have a title area up here. And in fact, it's already shrunk down the font size to the minimum, even though I had a much larger font there. And I also have um, just a couple of small paragraphs in the middle here. And there certainly should be plenty of room for this to uh, reduce the size uh, of the font or to fill the extra space with text as needed. But here, even in desktop mode, I'm still seeing these text pop-out buttons or icons, if you will. And there's actually a couple of reasons why this might occur. Um, obviously, it's a great feature, um, you know, if you are putting a lot of text on screen and you want to have your mobile users to be able to access that text by clicking on the button. It gives them an overlay that includes all that text, uh, possibly a scroll bar if necessary. And uh, once they're finished uh, reviewing the text, they can tap anywhere to return to the e-learning course. But obviously, I don't think I need these text pop-out icons or buttons uh, from this particular page design. So let's see where the problem is. So here's my project. You can see actually my title, which is a smart shape, by the way. I've got you know a nice large font. In this case here, it's uh, 45 points, Myriad Pro. And, you know, I've got actually a text caption just to show that it can happen on any type of text container. And, and certainly there's, uh, I'm, I've selected the whole, um, in this case, text caption. You can see there's plenty of room to grow that text to fill this space if necessary. So what's the problem here? Um, well, let's take a look at a couple of things. So minimum font size 14, that's fine. I don't actually need to enable uniform text scaling. Uh, the purpose of this function is if I have, let's say I've got three different text captions that all start off with, let's say 25 points um, font sizes. Uh, I want those to shrink, even though there might be more or less text in all of them, I want them to shrink in a uniform way. So if I had objects like that on this slide, I certainly would check that off, but I don't need that in this case here. Often when we're designing e-learning, we're writing in something else, uh, writing a storyboard, and that might be in a word processor. Inside the word processor, we might use certain formatting, we might use extra line breaks and things like that. And of course, when we copy that text over from that word processor and paste it into Adobe Captivate, many of those almost invisible or, or hidden uh, formatting codes and characters uh, come with it. So you can actually get a, an idea of what might be the problem by selecting the text within one of your text containers. I'm going to hit Control A on my keyboard. I've already double clicked on this uh, smart shape so that my, my cursor is inside the text there. If I hit Control A, it will select all the text within that text container. So you can see here that right off the bat, I do have an extra line break or two. In fact, I would suggest that there's probably two, three, four, five maybe line breaks that may have been copied over from my word processor. The easiest solution here is to simply select just the text and copy that. So I hit Control C on my, or I could just right click on it and copy. And then now um, right click and select all. So now it's got the extra formatting in there. And now I can right click and paste just the text. So now if I was to select Control A, you can see I just have the text here. Better solution would be to type it out fresh, of course, because then you're ensuring that you can remove all of the text or all the hidden uh, codes or characters that might be forcing this to shrink its uh, size and to show those pop-up icons. The uh, other thing that I use as well, if I have something like uh, the text that's down here, you can see actually there's a whole bunch of line breaks there as well. 
if I select just the text and I right click and I copy it, I actually have a little program called Pure Text, which is just a little program that resides in my system tray. And if I've copied any text as I've just done, I can click on this Pure Text um, icon and it strips out any formatting and gives me pure text. So now if I paste this in uh, and we just uh, select all and then paste that clean text now, I'll get just the text. So let's do a preview of this and see what that looks like. Should give us a more desirable result. Uh, much better. So my title's the appropriate size. I'm not seeing the text pop out icon and I'm certainly not seeing the text pop out icon for the body of the text as well. Of course, it's still beneficial to have those pop out uh, items when your screen size gets to a certain point. In this case, I don't even need it for uh, mobile view, but uh, if it was there, it would be a great benefit to my e-learning users to be able to read the text on screen and then tap and return to the e-learning course and continue with the rest of the project. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.